All right, there's a good looking spark. All right, welcome back. Uh, customer uh, sends me over quite a few of these industrial uh, dryer uh, flame igniters. Uh, let's take a look. So this one I can tell is the conformal coating one. This is not going to be as bad as uh, the silicone based one. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So we're going to have our, uh, our power side, our ground side, and we're going to just set them the ground to the to the spark. Now this is high voltage stuff, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't work on this. Yeah, we're getting a really weak spark there, so this is going to be a bad solder joint. Let's see how this one comes apart. This conformal coating version is not too bad. Uh, I do have a video showing the uh, silicone one. It's a little more fun. And this guy's going to fight a little bit. Because these posts are actually glued together. But they're not glued very well. So usually, they, as you see, the others just fell apart. So we're basically just brute forcing this thing apart. This one is really fighting. All right, sorry, we're having cable issues over here as usual. Wish I could tell you who it is, but I don't feel like getting uh, trouble. But it's definitely a garbage system. Is the conformal coating version and it's going to be the same thing it's going to be a bad solder joint on this high voltage and they got this glued in let's go to the scope and take a look and there we can see it right there look at that so i think at some point i'm going to make a video that explains why these joints fail like this There's a whole bunch of them. So apparently conformal coating really doesn't help when you have a bad manufacturing process. So actually I should have warmed up the bigger iron. Let's see what the little one does. Usually it's best practice to get this conformal off, but I'm a little lazy with it, so we're just going to soak it with solder, and we're going to actually remove as much of this. You know what? Let me get this on a on a holder. So at this point, that would probably fix the problem. But I don't want this coming back. You can see that wire is not great. And get a little of that conformal off. Where's that other one we're gonna? Scrape that one a bit. We got a bad one here.
don't know why they got to bend this lead over. Obviously didn't help. She's just going to potentially short to the trace. I'll tell you, I don't know. I weep for manufacturing because there's just no skill anymore. And it goes all the way up the chain. I hate to make these negative videos like this, but right now I'm dealing with tech support on an issue that's been going on for years. And they're just not going to fix it. So we're going to have to just cancel this cable service and get something else. Unfortunately, we live in a bad area that doesn't have anything good. I think at this point I could have got my own satellite dish. I just paid to have direct connection to NASA satellite because these clowns can't deal with it. So that should fix that. Let's uh, let's wire this up and see what we get. I should be able to go a power ground. And you saw how the spark was when we first started. Powered up. Three, two, one. So is that? See those uh, those bulbs glowing? Now there's a good spark. so I don't know if that was a great video or not but uh, that's cold solder joints like I said I think I'm gonna do a video on why those joints fail like that like subscribe we'll see you next time